the voice. So, um, the elusive voice. So Owen is described in the book and also in the play as having a high-pitched, shrill, shrieking sort of voice um, that never changes as he grows up. So he starts out at nine years old and goes all the way through his uh, mid-twenties and his voice, in essence, stays the same throughout all that. Um, that was really kind of a scary thing to look at, to work on coming into this, and I was really sort of careful with how I did that because, especially in the book, but also in the play, they describe it as a very kind of nasty, harsh sound, and I knew that if the audience was going to have to listen to that for three hours, they were probably going to get sick of it. So I did my best, and Bruce and I had to work on this, and uh, also Hillary, our voice instructor here, which was great, kind of collaborated and found this sound that did what the play needed it to do, but also was a little pleasant on the ear so that you could listen to the character uh, rant for hours and not get sick of him. Um, and also, some of the fun was actually trying to find a way to uh, show the age difference a little bit as he gets older while keeping the voice kind of the same pitch for the most part and using body language and little bits of rhythm change to show, okay, well, he's nine now, but now he's 16 and now he's 26, you know, and how to, how to find that was fun. Um, it also talks about kind of the main point that I really used to try to capture the sound of the voice other than just hearing what I heard in my head as I read the book. Um, was that at the end of the story, um, he, he relates to a group of young Vietnamese children and they, even though they don't speak the same language, they really understand him and trust him instantly just based on the sound of his voice and his size. So I kind of modeled it a little bit after what I would picture a young Vietnamese boy to sound like, uh, which was cool. Right,